All right, welcome back to driveway. We have a whole bunch of parts and we're gonna work on some plumbing in this setup. And unfortunately, I didn't get all the parts that I needed, so we can't really finish anything. But we sure as heck can get started. So, I got myself a plate, a board, however you wanna put it, piece of plywood with a piece of aluminum diamond plate glued over top of it. And this is gonna be the basis for mounting our fuel filters and probably some relays for our fuel system. So, let's just get to cracking on this thing and see how it pans out. So over here, you can see where things are starting to come together. Our plate's gonna be pretty much up there. That way we can get easy access to everything and it's not gonna damage anything else. And we're starting to kind of put our fittings in where we think they might need to be. And that's how we find out whether we got enough fittings, which obviously we don't. But we're essentially going to start mounting some stuff up anyways. We can get these guys mounted up here. That way where th these joints come out, they lead directly where they belong. And then the benefit to that is I can mount all these up to the plate outside of the vehicle. So I can have less swearing. All right, just like that, a couple screws and that plate's ready to fly. So now we just need to start worrying about our hoses. Something like that. Probably right about there. Slice this thing off in the grinder and we'll be in business. All right, and kind of like that. First one's done. So, welcome back. We are kind of finishing up our hose plumbing. And while I usually like to use the angle grinder for doing these hoses, because it makes a nice end, kind of found that since this has that nylon wrap, 
it likes to melt the nylon around the edge, which then makes it hard to put that ferrule thing in there, since this is Teflon. So this leaves kind of a messier end, but when you remove the tape, it actually splays out better for running the next section. So this is our return hose. So like usual, get your cap piece and the fur roll. This collar. Put it over top of that. Then we take our tape off. Helps if I catch the correct end of it. And it kind of gives you this ratty mess of an end on the end here. But that means all of this steel wire is not attached and it's able to free roam. So basically then you have an extra step cleaning up our Teflon section. But it's really not that bad, all things considered. Then our ferrule guy just slides right on down on that. And use our little tool and just really wedge it on there. So then it's on there and you get that weird little outer collar. Jam your fitting on and let her fly. I throw a little bit of oil down on the threads just to make sure that we're getting everything we can and it's not thread binding, it's more collar locking on than anything else. And then you got a nice return line. All right, so it's gonna be difficult to kind of see the finer points of our fuel system, but if you can look on over here, this one is the fuel out. So it comes up here to a large micron filter, and then it goes down to that facet lift pump that we're using. And from that facet lift pump, it goes into our surge tank. So then from that surge tank, we have a return, which goes into this return Y, where the return from the fuel rail goes as well. And then we have a vent line that comes up and it's currently hanging out over here because I don't know where I'm putting it. So I left the hose long and we should be good to go there. So as we follow that through, we got our Bosch fuel pump. Pumps into the tighter screen mesh fuel filter. So that should be nice. Flows through there up into our fuel rail. And then over here, we got our pressure regulator. I actually uh, try and tried to attach it to the rail with a couple AN unions. I don't know how well that's gonna do up there versus being on a firewall. It might shake it up and it might not do its thing, but hey, it's something to try out. And then from it is your return into that same return. Now this one here is our rollover vent. Yeah, it's got the ball down here and it comes up here for a spot to place a filter on.
as you can see there. Of course, the other line that came for the vent for the surge tank, that's up there as well. And it has a rollover check valve in it as well. So if by some chance we roll this thing over, we shouldn't be spilling fuel everywhere. So that's looking pretty nice from here. Up front, I decided to get our brakes started. So we got our reservoirs up here. This is the front rear clutch. And as you can see, we got our hard line already run from here up into a splitter for the front. Then we'll have a line go there and line go there. And then we'll run two lines down the frame rail for the rear and the clutch. So that will be resumed next time. I still gotta wait for some parts to show up. And luckily I had all the parts for the AN fittings that showed up as well. There's still like the AN filters and that stuff, but hey, that's for a later time. Anyways, that's the closest step we got going this time. So I guess thanks for stopping by and watching. Hopefully we'll see you again later.